da 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 dee da da day. Too enough. Too look enough. Wagwan Massives, welcome back to my channel Life with Little Gem and in today's video come along with me on this home renovation vlog. Yes, that's my dad around there putting in the work and today we are just doing some home renovation on my grandmother's house, my dad's mom. So for those who don't know me personally, my dad is a builder, well he's a carpenter and today we are renovating his mom's house because the boards were basically rotting and needed to be changed so everything was changed from the inside out and some additions were made on the veranda as you can see there the, the wall we made it higher by um installing ballistas on it and i'm just scraping off some of the excess cement that's on it so it can be smooth when it's ready to be primed and painted this was a fun project because i love everything that is building and construction i just like to see things come to life with the designs and everything i'm just bummed that i wasn't a part of this from the beginning because i didn't really have time to be on the site every day now i must say that my dad did a really good job with this house because it looks completely different there's drywalls on the inside and doesn't it doesn't look like a traditional wooden house when you go inside everything is smoothly incorporated and it looks much much larger than the first time with the partitions that were installed so right here Dwayne is just installing the ceilings to you know keep out the heat from the sink and to make it look a bit more aesthetic rather than to be looking at the raw roof the linings have not been placed on the ceiling as yet so that's why you are able to see the cuttings from the solitex and after the strips the lining strips will be applied so those lines won't be visible anymore so this is i would say the main room it's the front room and it is basically finished the furnitures were resprayed painting is completed tiling is completed this room was extended a bit the front where the window is was brought out a bit more so we have a bit more room in here so now i am just looking for some bed spreads to put on this bed because um we have a grave digging no <laughs> sorry not a grave digging a tombing yeah a tombing what am i saying the man died over seven years ago so we will be tombing my grandfather's grave in a few days and my grandmother will be coming in from america along with my aunt so we're just getting this ready for them took this cap from my dad i don't know if earlier you guys noticed he was bending down scraping the floor so what's actually on here are paint residues 
from painting so whenever you paint and paint catches the tiles you can just get something sharp enough to scrape and peel off the tiles so you don't have the place looking mucky and messy with paint residue left behind so that's what i'm doing right here and i'm getting every single droppings there's just something so satisfying about scraping paint residue off the tiles i remember doing this when i was building my room it's just so soothing therapy guys therapy <laughs> So right here I'm just peeping him doing some work on the kitchen um what you call this partition yeah so he's basically just covering up the partition wood to give it a more aesthetic look on the side there so he's covering some raw wood with some fresh wood basically And in here is the kitchen my favorite part well one of my favorite part of the house I love to see a kitchen being built so this right here this is plywood and then the malta for the tile the tile mix what I'm calling tin set is placed on the plywood and then you place your tiles and voila you have a nice tile counter now this right here is a section of the old wood being exposed so this is gonna be um painted i thought it was initially going to be covered like this side but no it's just gonna be painted and everything will look in sync then we have a filler and prime then paint yeah so it's so neat it's gonna be so neat when it's finished and cute now the ceilings the strips are going to go over those areas so those are going to be covered with the strips it's going to look complete as a builder man watch my daddy i love watch my father working on none about nobody else mm -hmm now we are back in the front room and he's installing the doors on the wall closet to ensure everything is ready So now he's taking it back down because apparently it's a tad bit lean and you know as i build that things off a perfect and things off a level now he got it back up and he is now on the second main door of the closet
do you and ask me if I come help him bring out that bed here, people. I said that bed I look on, don't make it trick, yo. Don't make it trick, oh no. The bed heavy. I saw my long time would make this a bed here. So it all miss a too lot. Nobody think it light because it miss a too lot. The bed heavy. Look how if I move slow. Mighty God, I don't know why the furniture them when my father build officer so heavy. One thing to tell people, you know, when them man a bill for you, you know, make sure you're not in the bag and move up and down because God go with your car, he not come. Watch our bed nice. Watch nice furniture. Watch nice bed head and nice wardrobe. No, I just love this design, this carving here on this wardrobe. The flower coming down. It's so cutesy. I'm loving it. Now the glasses are going to be installed on the doors and it will be completed. So the piece of old bed I nearly broke my back. Now they are bringing out the couches so that they can be dusted and cleaned up. A lot of dust and residue have been collected in these sofas so we have to beat them like bad pick if we get out the dust. And then I went in with a wash brush to just brush them to get out the excess dust. Look they watch those. Watch the dust a fly. That's a lot of dust. In case you want some vacuum, some vacuum, because the funny thing about them sitting here, you know, them couch here, no make like a regular couch, or you can take out the seat. You understand? Everything stitching. in. Cushion can't come out, so right in the sun. You know, so I want a mini vacuum to just go down in there and get up everything. And now the almost kill me bed is being sprayed to look fresh and brand new. Welcome back to the kitchen guys. The cupboard is now up on the wall so we're almost through there. This spot is where the fridge is going to be also as you can see guys the walls have been painted so now let me just clean up to just finalize things
and this is the exterior of the house which concrete plies were used thanks for watching guys